everybody we are running late eight a a a a yeah oh my hey. gosh uh so we have been invited to i'm vlogging by the way i'm <laughs> vlogging and nyehamba not in Nyawa. and uh we have been invited to moyo we've yes. been invited but invite basically that's me me invite but me me le e moyo ezulek but uh we're on our way there now we've done our makeup we're looking fresh we're both in all black <laughs> bye bye <laughs> and uh 20 oh okay we should make it in time because it says 27 minutes so we'll go for that just before six which is fine and nihamba nutineo she will talk to you guys when she feels like it because ah. yeah anyway we're on our way there now so yeah sharp moody moody hello everybody hey hello darlings hey, yep everybody. we're not late we are not late we're Don't on worry. time we are not but late. the way i was rushing dineo like, hey, man, go mara, mara, mara. to be honest, I had the whole day to prepare. Exactly. What? And when she gets back from work, what? M17. Then when I got there, I man. had to leave early. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not late, we're on time. Because of a let's, because of a let's, 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 <laughs> we're here and we're here for this. It's pretty quiet, but the venue is exceptional. Look at that. Just look at how beautiful this place is. Wow. I'm at Moyo for the Moyo event. As you can see, there's quite a lot of footage that is, you know, food, drinks, entertainment. It is beautiful here. And I love the whole authenticity about this place. It's it's, 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 it, it feels like home, like I was sitting there and talking about how I've been to so many, is that, is that better? Yeah, I've been to so many restaurants and all that jazz, but this is the first time I met Moyo and I cannot believe the vibe. The setting is very nice, the lighting is very nice, there's fairy lights everywhere, it's bright, but when you're sitting down to eat, it's very... Um, cozy and romantic lighting it's absolutely exceptional and the food oh my gosh the food is something else definitely definitely so glad that I actually made it here tonight because wow I am totally floored I'm totally floored the food is wonderful I had this couscous salad that was just delicious and also apart from that the just just the whole environment and the vibe about it I mean you can bring your family here you can bring friends here if you want a good night out it's amazing and then my alarm goes off but it's amazing it is really really nice i'm so glad i'm here and now it's time for dessert so <laughs> i'm gonna head out and have some dessert okay okay
I have been waiting forever for this is a humidifier. I've been wanting a humidifier for such a long time and I struggle with sinuses. So I was just like, <laughs> I need to get this. But the psyche thing is I forgot to buy essential oils, but I can get essential oils at Discam and one at all of that. So it's fine. And I love this one because it's got a time period thing. So you can have one for, um, you can have it running for an hour, three hours, six hours, blah, blah, blah. And then this is a Samsung uh, microphone and this is a portable microphone that you can use when you're recording and I particularly bought this one because um, for my voiceovers which yeah but I can also use it for when I'm like recording like full-on videos so really really excited to try this one out as well I've heard good things I've researched it and googled and all that jazz so really really looking forward hey um so as you guys could tell from the footage a little bit earlier on i bought a humidifier and it's actually going in the back somewhere like over there somewhere there but um it is amazing guys oh my god uh, right now it's going with a little bit of lavender oil in it and you know lavender oil in case you don't know is really really good for calming you down making you relax sleep really well so I've had it going for about the past hour or so but one of the reasons why I wanted to come on here is because I'm just about to take my makeup off but I have been I'm looking at the viewfinder because I want you guys to be able to see this and oh my god i think i have just found the perfect 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 um what do you call this drugstore lower end foundation that is matte and i am all about matte foundations okay 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 just in case you've used this or you know about it or you don't know about it this is the maybelline superstay 24 full coverage foundation and this is what i have on right now I just thought that I should just show it to you before I um, take it off. But my shade is Caramel, which is pretty much my shade for all um, Maybelline foundations. That's pretty much the closest one to my skin tone. It is absolutely amazing. And it comes with a pump, as you can see. I've been using it for the past four days, and I'm pretty much sure that it is going to be my new everyday foundation and then uh, um i remember being asked what i carry in my makeup bag that goes into my purse that i go to work with and i thought i should show you so i bought this cute 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 little bag from h m and this is the makeup purse that i carry with me every day in my bag uh, to go to work it's very very small like in relation to my hand you can see it's quite small but I wanted to show you but i thought i should show you i really don't carry much in here apart from what i really really need and you'll see most of it is literally just um let me move that most of it is just uh lip products so one of my favorite bronzers aside from my bobby brown one is this palladio matte bronzer i absolutely love it so i carry it all the time and then to ch touch up during the day this product has impressed me so much this is the rimmel stay matte powder and it's lightweight it's mattifying which i absolutely love and my shade is number 30 which is caramel i'm gonna go and i'll see you in the next one hey so i just got back from work can you believe i'm actually wearing a white top so unlike me weren't you guys expecting to see me in something like black anyway i just got back from work and i received a parcel today i received two parcels one i know is from muse beauty and i thought i should just open it here i know what is in there i ordered two or three things i don't know but i'm pretty sure it's something you'd like to see and the other one came from one of the PR companies that send me things so let's start with the PR company because I know y'all are gonna want to see what's in the Muse Beauty thing okay okay oh 
Do you guys remember I spoke about this? But, oh, this is the aloe vera shower gel. I spoke about the lotion. The lotion helped me out so much. This is from Mineraline. The lotion helped me out so much and it's pretty much almost finished. Like it's on its last legs. And now I've got the shower gel. It's, oh, it smells just like the lotion. It smells so delicious. Like literally. Okay. And next out is from bid nike or bid nick or something like that b-i-d-n-i-k-e i know that they sell this at um discovery discovery discam stores and this is the uh essential cleansing water the packaging is absolutely amazing i'm not gonna lie okay looks it's got a little bit of bubbles on the inside there as you can see looks really really interesting Muse. I have been waiting for this, honey. Okay, so this brand I've been wanting to buy <laughs> for a long time, but kind of wanted the hype to sort of die down with this brand. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy, but not, not quite yet. There's one other thing that's from a different brand, if I remember correctly. So let's start with. Let's start with the one skincare item, and this is from Laneige. I've heard so much about this water sleeping mask that I felt like, you know what, I've read so many reviews, so many good things have been said about it. Look at that packaging. Just, okay, honey, honey, look at that packaging. It is so, so nice. It smells so good, and it's like blue. It smells so good. Okay, so this is what you just pretty much wear to bed and you go to sleep with this on. Oh, it smells amazing. And then the other three things, bam, that I finally got onto are Fenty things. Now, I could have bought these at any point, let's be honest. I just wanted the whole hype of Fenty to die down. Um, so I eventually, eventually copped myself some Fenty items. The first thing here is the kilowatt highlighter and this is mean money and hustler baby wow the packaging is pretty dope Ooh, very sleek and white hmm hello hello fenty hello okay Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Ooh. okay it's more of a champagne color even though it's reflecting as pink but it's more on the champagne side beautiful Oh, and then the next thing is the gloss bomb. Remember doing the giveaway with uh, the gloss bomb being one of the Fenty item giveaways? Uh, I've, I've never used it, so that's pretty much what it looks like right there. That's what it looks like. It's so cute. Besides, uh, my, my lips right now need a little bit of loving, okay? Ooh, oh, it smells like candy. Mm hmm hey do i look like rihanna yet no okay maybe not and then the last thing is the mademoiselle plush matte lipstick and my shade that i picked up is spank that's what it looks like oh my gosh oh that is so pretty look at that color look at that color oh my gosh okay let me try and oh my god <laughs> i love that color that's pretty much it uh three items from fenty and one from laneige and a bunch of other products from different brands which is quite nice i'm thankful for that and hey yeah. so this is a different day but i want to put this in the same vlog as all the other footage that you previously just saw oh yeah i did my hair i did my hair <laughs> okay anyway um i know you guys have heard me say that i do not absolutely do not love to meal prep i hate meal prepping because i feel like my food needs to be interesting i feel like my food needs to be different every single day however there are days where i do meal prep and i specifically meal prep for lunches when i'm at work primarily because those are my hectic deadline weeks and i cannot leave the office even to get lunch and i don't want to order something that'll be fatty and you know kfc's and what have you so 
most of the time and the good places where you can get something really good are often in the malls and i don't have time to be going into the mall so most of the time i do meal prep i just make my meal prep slightly different and i'm going to show you how i do that um just so that each day is a little bit different even though that i know that the core meal itself is pretty much the same so the base of the meal is pretty much the same but i change it up every single day so let me show you how so I do. pretty much what you see in front of you are my three meal prepped whoops whoops meals for uh the next three days and the reason why i have them prepared like this is because i'm just going to slot them into the fridge i have them open because i want them to cool off before i put them in the fridge but basically each meal if i bring over one here each meal consists of obviously already measured out and everything it's broccoli and cauliflower some sugar snap peas and some chicken so it's 90 grams of chicken and uh broccoli and cauliflower sugar snap peas for about 250 grams this is typically lunch so for drinks i normally have these with my lunches these are cold pressed juices from woolworths this one is one of my favorites but i don't drink it as much this is the apple raspberry and rhubarb i love the one i drink the most is this one and this is apple cucumber spinach and celery it's a green juice it's very very good it's cold pressed so it's 100% juice it's 100% everything that's in here nothing else nothing more nothing less and then when I need a kick I love to have this one I love to have it especially in the mornings it's got orange turmeric and cayenne pepper so it's very very spicy it's actually quite spicy so with these meals as you can see as i said on different days i like to keep it different as much as the base of the meal is the same thing but i like to add different things to it so on the side i've prepared some pumpkin so i will add this pumpkin obviously to a different lunch box and then carry it with probably that and then the next day with this maybe i'll add a little bit of avocado and then the next day with this maybe i'll add some cherry tomatoes it really depends it's all about playing with your food as i always say but i do meal prep for the days where i know i'm going to be having a busy week i only meal prep for lunches dinners i'm very particular about i do not want to eat this for lunch and this for dinner as well i will never do that okay so this is where i will officially close off this vlog uh i showed you my meal prep i showed you what i typically have for lunch on weeks that i am meal prepping other than that i will typically have something different for lunch each and every day i'll order a salad i'll go out and pick a salad up for maybe from tasha's or doppio zero if you guys follow my instagram stories you would know this very very well because i do that all the time and i am currently intermittent fasting if you would like to know how my journey is going <laughs> then uh, definitely comment down below and let me know and then maybe i'll do a video with that or maybe just do a quick vlog with that and talk you through it but for the most part that is how i meal prep if i have to meal prep so yeah i am gonna go finally gonna close off this vlog it's been a minute i am going to see you in the next one bye i need to eat and my phone is ringing <laughs> bye